that's not supposed to hang down like no, that, is it? No, 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 no. That there is what hooks your spring to the frame, buddy. You better show that to Dan. RVs. Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoying Enjoy the, the Journey. journey life. I'm Tom with enjoythejourney.life. Before we get on the road, we've got some major and some minor things to take care of with the RV. The major one was actually a safety hazard and was completely unexpected. Plus, we're gonna show you some tips on how to defrost your RV refrigerator. We're gonna be doing that, and I've gotta crawl under the RV and do some minor repairs myself. So check it out in this video. Just wrapping up the solar install and batteries and all of that and discovered we had, I don't even know what they call them, basically whatever the leaf spring connects to the frame right here had broken free and it had been like that for a little while. Look at that uneven wear on that tire perfect place to find a problem like that where they can get us fixed up. It looks like it's gonna go back together again, okay? Yeah, we'll put it back together, we'll weld it, and then he's gonna put some gussets or something onto it to help hold it. Something like that, I mean, left unchecked, what what breaks next, what happens next? Hopefully nothing. <laughs> Maybe a, a big pothole or something I hit? Okay. Well, I really lucked out with this one. Uh, the same RV service shop that did our solar was able to get me in right away to work on that back leaf spring that had broken free and so they're just finishing welding it up and I didn't have to travel far I'm just a couple miles away it looks like it's been that way for a while so it's certainly a, a safety a, a danger to travel that way but I limped it here they're getting me all fixed up I'm hoping it's not more than one or two hours worth of labor but definitely to be safe on the road, getting this thing done. Plus I've also contacted Lippert and uh, they're gonna follow up and check up on it and make sure that it's completely safe and roadworthy. So thank you, Lippert. If the others break, that one alone will hold it all together. <laughs> cool. Disaster averted. What I'll do is put a link to the Lippert phone number to call if you have any issues at all, you're looking for parts or service or whatever. Lippert has great customer support. That number is down below in the description. All right, time to get back to the RV park. <laughs> Watching a freezer defrost is more exciting than watching paint dry.
Ooh, completely keto fat bombs or mint. Oh, what you doing, Cherie? You find cool things when you defrost your refrigerator freezer. Oh, huh. you're gonna defrost, huh? Mm -hmm. Gosh, look at all that ice build up. You should go inside and get it from a side view. That is insane. It's ridiculous. Look at all of that. What's it been, about a year? But this time we have like a trick that we learned that's supposed to make that really easy. We'll see about that. We'll see if it works. It's those clear cutting boards back here lining this, but I don't see them anywhere. It's supposed to make this quick and easy. I think they're more, yeah, toward the bottom. We'll have to let it defrost. What you got there? I found these like little sugar free wafers, so I thought I would have some. <laughs> Where's the garbage? How old are those? Not that old. That's the thing about these RV freezers. Food goes bad really fast. <laughs> what are you saying? The nor cold is a never cold? Yeah, it's there's an, an extra R in this. No cold. They accidentally put an R in there. We're getting there. We've got a fan in there. So a little hack with these little thin sheets. What are they? What kind of? They're cutting boards. Oh, okay. And we got clear, so you couldn't see them. <laughs> This might have come off a little bit earlier. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, we could have tried it a few minutes ago. Maybe it would have come off, but... Hey, you want to hold this? No. Why am I under the RV? Well, we had some tape. I don't know exactly what that's called. Some kind of sealant tape come off and you can see it's not working very well. So I have some replacement stuff. I figured I would get it done before we get back on the road. That's not so bad. I would say that'll work. <laughs> and coming up real soon, our very first boondocking trip with our new solar and battery setup, plus our brand new internet setup as well. So make sure you subscribe so you can check those out when they're released.